with the noose around her neck, she cried out, Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight, people, for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. I will be killed, but there are those who will avenge me. Lepa Svetozara Radic, or 1925, was a Yugoslav partisan of Serb origin. She was awarded the Order of the People's Hero in 1951 for her role in the resistance movement against the Axis powers in the Second World War, becoming the youngest recipient at the time. Lepa Radic was born in the village of Gasnica near Bosanska Gradiska. As a pupil, Lepa emphasized hard work, seriousness, and was also interested in reading advanced literature. She developed her core positions under the strong influence of her uncle, Valedita Radic, who was involved in the labor movement. Lepa eventually joined the Communist Party of Yugoslavia in 1941 at the age of 15. On the 10th of April 1941, after the invasion of Yugoslavia, the Axis powers established the independent state of Croatia, which included Bosanska Gradiska and surrounding areas. In November of 1941, Lepa Radic and other family members were arrested by the Ustasa, but with the help of undercover partisan associates, Lepa and her sister Dara managed to escape from prison on the 23rd of December 1941. Following her escape, she joined the resistance. In February of 1943, Lepa Radic was responsible for transporting the wounded in the Battle of Neretva to a shelter nearby. During a gunfight against the Nazis, she was eventually captured and moved to a Nazi prison. There, Lepa was tortured for several days in an attempt to extract information. However, Unable to extract any information, the Nazis sentenced her to death by hanging. With the noose around her neck, she cried out, Long live the Communist Party and partisans. Fight, people, for your freedom. Do not surrender to the evildoers. I will be killed, but there are those who will avenge me. In her last moments at the scaffold, the Germans offered to spare her life in return for the names of the Communist Party leaders and members in the shelter, but she refused their offer with the words, I am not a traitor to my people. Those whom you are asking about will reveal themselves when they have succeeded in wiping out all you evildoers to the last man. Lepa Radish was only 17 years old when she was publicly executed. <laughs>